Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley and we're we'll doing a 2 versus 2 siege on a pretty large double tiered city. So you can see us a raid out here. It's going to be Egypt, my ally, against myself. I'm going to be playing as the Moors. I have a couple trebuchets already unleashing on the walls of the citadel itself. And something you'll recall from Medieval 2 is you have uh, the opportunity to make cities either sort of uh, commerce based or military based and the military based ones such as this one have pretty formidable structures uh, so this one has two layers of defense with knights here defended on the inside it's gonna be two English players on the inside and actually I wanted to capture a little bit of the hilarity going on here um, our, our enemies actually decided to set up uh, stakes to protect themselves uh, but then one of the allies forgot that it is the case that your ally stakes can actually kill you so we <laughs> we actually ended up killing the enemy general out from the start me and my ally were kind of confused as to what's going on um, for going that uh, the defenses are looking pretty formidable you can see a bunch of these uh, armored swordsmen uh, and dismounted English knights kind of sitting on the inside here they have a ton of these trebuchets just kind of waiting on the inside interior courtyard and that's one of the things that's cool about these battles is you see multiple tiers of the battle taking place kind of a precursor to what happened with Attila uh, with escalation a lot of these Yemen archers um, and they have a bunch more of these English knights retreating back into the city so pretty formidable uh, defenses again more of these armored swordsmen scattering and uh, we can go ahead and take a look at what's moving forward a lot of our siege towers are now going to be starting to push forward pressing the assault I'm going to be trying to take out some of these towers uh, because these troops here um, it works differently in medieval too once you're close to a tower like this one you can see you control it but once you move away then the tower is uh, it's kind of not garrisoned which I think is a cool feature that keeps them from being overpowered so our opponents decided to vacate this, but I wanted to destroy the towers just in case they came back, uh, just to prevent that assault. My ally is now going to be moving up with ladders, and I'm going to be moving up a full-scale assault with our siege towers, moving up against the walls. You can see the shelling is taking place uh, against many of those main towers in the distance. And I have some really nice dismounted Christian Guard units who are very uh, excellent. So we're making our sort of main assault and push up along this front of the wall here. Um, and then my trebuchets, I'm trying to conserve ammo because I realize um, our opponents are not really taking the towers. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I take out maybe one or two here and there just to make sure they stay silent during the assault. I really love the, the models on these, so unleashing on that in the distance. You can see it start to go down just in the face of our assault. So we're prepping the groundwork for the, uh, the troops to advance. Now that we're getting no real opposition, we're going to actually start to cease fire on here. I'm going to push forward with these guys, move them into position. I'm going to start moving up with some of our lighter troops over on this side, some urban militia. And they're actually vetted up. You can see the armor in Medieval, when you upgrade your guys, they actually, you see that represented. So they have much better armor than they would have otherwise. So urban militia looking very cool. And they're now approaching this main vast citadel that would otherwise be very, very scary. I mean, look how imposing this is. Our opponents, however, knew that we would bring artillery, and they've, you know, given up this first wall, which on a normal city would be pretty terrible. But take a look at what's staring at the us in the distance. Are at the walls. Did our foe think he could hide so you know, siege forever? towers are going to go, go and uh, start claiming the walls for us. We're moving in with some more of our units, more of the trebuchets moving in, and then the actually battering ram is going to be pushing up on the main gate. So we're going to be taking this unmolested, uh, or so it seems, but that is not going to be the case forever. You can see what's staring at us from the distance. The enemies are definitely preparing for the counter attack. So this is uh, this is a calm before the storm. And this is only going to last so long. It's a uh, seven damage every time. So this is going to be going down very very quickly. Uh, in the meantime, we can take a look at some of my units. We're going to start to fill up the siege towers. So here you go, the Christian guard moving up into the siege tower, preparing to move up. And then I also have a bunch of my. Uh, uh, ladders going over to the left side and these are going to be the Hashashim so these guys are assassin type units um, smaller in number but very very good on the attack and there we go now we cleared the first defense so that means we're going to be able to pour in and you can actually start moving in with your uh, your siege engine so you can move through that gate with some of your own uh, ladders and whatnot the enemy is going to start counter firing so that whole battery over there take a look at this at what they're seeing they're going to allow us to move through here and use it as a choke point so that's very very scary uh, site for us. Meanwhile, I move both of my uh, trebuchets even closer. I'm going to be poking another huge walls. hole in the wall. I want to open up as many openings as possible. And this scene kind of reminded me of uh, Kingdom of Heaven. If you guys have seen that with the Crusades, 
that is an awesome movie. I really love it. And this is one of the scenes kind of towards the end of the movie in the last battle where the troops are all huddled by the opening and they're waiting for the last couple trebuchet, trebuchet shots to break down the wall. So this is uh, what we got going on here. These eager, uh, heavy axemen waiting to just storm the city. Meanwhile, speaking of storming, we got the Christian guard up on the sides. And I really love the armor modeling on these. So we're going to be infiltrating the city pretty easily. Here go my Hashashim, very light, quick, but deadly warriors. And they're going to be tasked with securing the gatehouses. They're going to be running along, seizing the towers, and then they're going to hopefully open up the gates so that we can the storm in with some of our units uh, over on the left side. So this is more of a, a covert ops operation. We're going to be swarming into the city streets themselves now, seizing the, t the ground, but noticing there is relatively no resistance. Meanwhile, this is the main concentration of fire. And take a look at this. All of our troops lined up waiting for this wall to go down. So we'll go here ahead and wait here with the troops. We are through the enemy's walls. And there you go. But you can see what's awaiting us. So a pretty scary sight if we want to go ahead and watch um, in the distance. So amidst the, the smoke, we're not quite sure what's happening. We're going to go ahead and start pushing forward. Uh, I told my guys to cease fire. And now we're going to be pulling forward with all of our trebuchets. Uh, you can see more in the distance starting to move up. My own units over here starting to actually get into position because I want to counterattack and you know silence those guys as we charge through the center. So let's watch that. Here comes the initial sally, and look at that imposing sight in the distance. This is really, really scary. And here comes some more of the shots. And they're actually going to be doing some damage to their own towers. So uh, in Medieval 2, the siege engines are not as accurate as in the later Total War titles. Something I really like. So it's uh, a lot of hit or miss, uh, which gives you a little bit more time to scoot into the alleyway like these guys. So like I said, we're going to be reforming, trying to seize that territory. A couple of these shots are going to be dangerously close to my siege engines. We did have one Grand Bombard who's going to be lined up in a perfect place to just start to put shots on that uh, that position. So he's going to start to line up right in this opening. And then meanwhile going to be cruising up. Looks like we're in position. We're going to be reforming and I believe we're going to start to get some, uh, some shots off here. Let's see if the Bombard is also going to fire. It looks like we're moving into position. We're going to be able to fire, get some shots off, and I wanted to go ahead and follow this. More of those siege engines moving up, so we're going to put everything on both forces. There we go, some shots going off. And we're going to start targeting some of these units right here. They are heavy, heavy armored swordsmen. And basically what we're thinking is, look at from our opponent's side, they got every single piece of artillery trained and pre-sighted on that entrance. And we're not going to pour through there until we're ready. Um, and what we're looking at is, hey, if we bum rush this huge group of artillery, we're going to have to take out these forces here. Um, so that's why we're going to start targeting those guys. Now you can start to see some of our artillery actually positioning themselves right in front of the breach. And meanwhile, this is all drawing the attention of our opponents. Some of the bombard shot looks like uh, bounced off right there. But like I said, the Hashishim are now moving into these other components. We've been able to seize this position here. And there are actually more Hashishim are going to be moving in with ladders. So my idea was to maybe perhaps push through here and then scale the wall while the opponent wasn't watching. So I'm going to stay uh, stay tuned for that. However, they are redeploying some English Knights. So in response, we're actually going to be pulling over some of our uh, units. I think in the distance, we're going to pull some of these guys back over here. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and watch this. The bombardment continues up in the front. So they're still missing their shots. We've positioned our guys in a pretty good way. The cannon's moving out of position so he doesn't shoot our own men who are almost going point blank range. And let's watch some of these exchanges. I believe we're going to have some shots uh, inbound. We have at least uh, three, four of those trebuchet units now targeting these guys. I just want to make sure I capture some of the... Oh, here we go. A couple of those shots coming in. So it looks like we're actually getting some pretty successive, successful... Uh, strikes on these guys so this is now a back and forth artillery uh, fight and look at all these guys back here they are also waiting for us to move into this position so you can understand the caution uh, we're exercising at this point in time I mean look at all these yeoman archers uh, they have this entire territory covered and this uh this ring of walls is not doing damage to us but it's definitely slowing us down I mean look at all these heavy royal mamelukes that we would love to storm into the city but because they have just a couple of the choke points controlled it means we've been forced to do a uh, you know some counter fire against them and now here we're gonna start peeling apart some of the mamelukes over to the left their goal is to reinforce a lot of my guys who are now gonna be pushing over dismounted uh, Christian guard is actually gonna be reinforcing the Hashashim for this position some of the uh, 
mounted Christian Guard. Heavy Cavalry is actually going to be pushing in over here. So we have taken this side, uh, which is not covered as heavily by all these artillery and all of these yeoman archers. So our opponents have this side on lockdown, and that's why we're sending assassins over on the right flank. Uh, and our opponents are going to be reacting promptly. It's really cool how you have this reserve uh, citadel here where they're just sallying out with some of their guys. And now the artillery is actually going to turn about and try and strike our forces. So we're forced to go back and hide behind some of the corners there. So very, very slowly moving up. But you can see we're actually doing more and more damage. A couple more of their guys were hit by us and more shots are raining in. So we hope to take out more of these before we... we uh, oh! Oh, that one missed. Um, but yeah, try and take out more of these guys before we tempt the, the crossing. The gauntlet, you could say. Some of my Hashishim are lined up there. They may go ahead and try and seize the towers and rain fire on our opponents if we can capture that. And now let's go ahead and just fast forward a little bit. Oh. Just wanted to try and get that for you. There we go. So it looks like some of our guys are actually going to start raining down uh, one of the types of fire you can have is actually to shoot diseased bodies of like uh, animals. So this is like a cow. So we're shooting some of that. We're shooting all sorts of fire into here. And it has some pretty devastating effects on your opponent. There we hit some of the crew. But the uh, diseased cow will actually have like a, a petulance effect. And it will decrease the morale and the efficacy of these troops. So we're doing everything to prep the assault there. Our opponents are going to be pulling back out of range. Pulling back on that side in the face of our Hashishin. Um, and in their wake they're going to be leaving, uh, it looks like two trebuchets actually here. Um, let's go ahead and look at our side, see how much damage we've taken on this side. Oh, it looks like we actually repositioned to get the bombard in position, so that's uh, that's why we had that. Just so we can get point blank range, so soon the pressure will be too much on our opponents. We have at the same time not really lost any of our trebuchets, we're going to be moving up with those guys, being very very careful, saving our ammo as always, and actually trying to move these guys into the city. I'm going to tell my opponent to hold fire. And now we're going to be starting to charge forward with some light peasant crossbowmen. And that is actually going to, in effect, force our opponents back. So we're moving up that causeway. They're going to be targeting my Hashishim, who are um, the assassins, like I said. And these guys are um, going to be moving around this side. They're going to start to take fire from the yeoman archers, who can shoot tremendous amounts of distance. Um, my Hashishim are relatively heavily armored. Enemy are going to try and prevent me from moving uh, down here. I was trying to maybe skirt around here, but the opponents had this position... Um, basically covered, but we're going to try our best at least to distract them. So more of the assassins moving around. And now the gates that the assassins secured are basically letting in all the heavy Mamelukes. So the units I told you before that we couldn't use, now we're going to be able to use these guys inside the city. So our opponents have to be wary of this. Starting to move these guys up, but they're going to be taking some shots uh, in these streets. The more they wait, the more damage they're going to take. So uh, I decided to press forward. We're going to push forward. You can see some of our shots here. These are the diseased troops, so I think we've prepped the assault soon enough. So now we're going to be pushing forward in the center with some of our heavy infantry. And now we're going to swarm that front, swarm this side, and then also push forward with the heavy cavalry on that front. I launched some of my Hashashim here down to try and intercept some of the horses or pull them out of position. Um, but they're actually going to be doing a lot of damage to me. Um, and here go all our troops with, look at this, this is the problem. We're going to try and target these guys with our artillery, but it can't happen quick enough. I mean, look at all the shots they're going to pour into our guys. That just took out about, I don't know, 20, 30 men in one strike. So uh, it's a ticking time bomb. At the same time, yeah, some of our guys are already starting to route. Heavy infantry are routing in the face of that, um, plus all the archers. So this is a killing ground. So here comes our counter volleys. At the same time, over here... The enemy dismounted or mounted knights are going to engage with our Mamelukes. Our Mamelukes, however, are much, much better than these guys. Um, you will see some archer fire coming in from the distance. Again, that citadel has suppressing fire everywhere. And we killed the general, so our initial assault, at least on this side, is going to be going pretty well. And then I'm going to come down with the Hashishim and start to assassinate some of these cavalry on foot. Um, come out of this gate and start just wrecking these guys. Um, and then we're going to start to actually move our cavalry into these positions and really try and silence the guns, so to speak. Uh, continuing to pour more of our guys. Our uh, trebuchets are trying to move into position uh, in order to target his guys who are way out of position. So here comes one of the shots, and it looks like it will be... Ooh, barely missing it. So at this point, we've tried to commit everything to this fight, but they're starting to swamp us right now, and they're going to start taking out some of our, our units and our siege equipment. Trying to push into range, we got a little bit desperate at this point. Um, and we're starting to crumble, so we're going to send in some of our dismounted Arab uh, cavalry, more heavy infantry, anything to pour into this uh, this opening. And here comes a couple more volleys. 
and every you know every couple shots is going to deal a tremendous amount of damage to the bodyguard. Um, we took out another one of their artillery, but it's not going down quick enough. They're exchanging better than us. Oh, actually, it looks like we traded another one, so it's starting to even up. But these guys in support, they have lots of targets to choose from. My god, this is just devastating here. We have a lot more reserve troops, keep in mind. Uh, more battering rams trying to move in, but at this this small little opening, we're losing a lot of equipment. Um, so this is the problem with moving into these short areas, and it was a very good move on our opponents to, uh, to pull back to this position where they can get a lot of supporting fire. My own uh, units are going to start kind of chewing through the armored swordsmen. My guys are better. They're vetted up, and so they should be able to take these guys. But the units in the back are taking a lot of fire from the archers. Meanwhile, over here, my Hashishim were able to come out of this side. The assassins doing exactly what they're supposed to, attacking from the back, the side. And look at all these knights that I'm just slaying. So if we can free our cavalry here, then we can come clean these guys up and hit all these forces in the back. And now we've turned the tides of our opponent. It looks like they're going to be retreating. So now it's going to be our turn to move up. Just total devastation going on here. And it looks like actually we're starting to turn the tides. Another shot hit its mark. So the opponents are down to just one of these remaining trebuchets down here. Another one actually trying to get point blank rage. I don't know uh, really where he's going. Maybe to try and block this street with the uh, siege equipment. Create more of a bottleneck. And we're actually going to start breaking through these. My Hashishim continuing to do a lot of work. And keep in mind I have some more of my own Christian guard back here waiting to uh, to launch the assault. I have some more peasant crossbowmen supporting the fight, getting some shots on, and actually targeting some of these uh, armored swordsmen. But the Citadel is still holding out tremendous amounts of archers left, pouring on the fire. And yes, we took out a lot of their siege equipment, but it traded pretty effectively against our guys. And I sent one of my Hashishim units actually to try and take out one of the last artillery pieces so effectively that's gonna silence all the of the artillery so there you go I'm chasing them and we killed half of the opponents and now we're gonna be swarming through here taking these positions the fire is gonna be coming thick and heavy from the Citadel but that's okay we're gonna keep pushing forward we have some trebuchets and artillery left actually a pretty heavy number of them more ladders more battering rams so we can use all this once it's in position to start taking on all these archers who are right now firing at us with impunity we're going to start crumbling the wall trying to take that out. So the opponents are going to be falling back. We're now starting to swarm with some of our heavy guard. The uh, English units here are now starting to break. So the outer perimeter has been destroyed. We seize that uh, that uh, approach. We seize this approach. And the remainder of the enemy heavy cab is getting uh, obliterated. So here we go. Units Only a couple left. Um, coming in with a couple more of these Mamelukes. Just really down. Oh my god, these guys are down to almost nothing. But still going at it. This is incredible. So we've seized the outer courtyard. Here we go. Moving into position. And uh, now we're swarming up a lot of the Egyptian forces now. Next to me, these shots going to be penetrating through here. Oh my god, look at all this fire from those archers. just raining down on our guys at least it's not super accurate um, but it is targeting some of our heavier Mamelukes and look at this graveyard of just artillery and siege equipment here this is ridiculous so now we have the final opponent force bottled up here but wow this is crazy look at all these shots they're getting on but we're gonna be targeting everything at this little contingent trying to break a hole in the wall forming our guys for the assault but all these troops lining up are just going to be taking more and more fire. But we need some way to penetrate the forces at the gates. Our opponent are holding this to the last man. Not allowing us to move up or get closer. They're going to be defending the gateway with their lives. All our forces have kind of successfully taken this position here. My own Hashishim, who have the ladders, are now going to be waiting for the, the call to basically move forward. And try and push the wall, the uh, tower, the, uh, sorry, the... Um, ladders up on this position which is not as heavily defended so the Hashashim definitely paying for themselves I have another unit here that's not really taking much fire I'm just keeping them in position to maybe take out this position uh, whenever it's ready gonna start moving up with some of our ladders 
on this side. We want to make sure we take out the archers who are continuing to just pour on the fire. This is ridiculous. More and more shots into the mess. Let's see who this is actually targeting. So uh, at least they're targeting some of the Arab cabs. So not doing as much damage as they could otherwise. Peasant crossmen returning fire up onto the walls. And we've actually started to seize the ground over here. Fight back against these units at the gateway. And they tried to counter assault here. Tried to take out some of these ladders, but uh, at least we have enough defenders here. The Mamelukes are going to be holding strong, trying to defend those. Meanwhile, let's see, this wall is at 60% damage, so all our troops are kind of waiting to move forward. So here come some ladders pushing up with a uh, urban militia pulling the, uh, the ram. And now we're going to start to engage. Some more shots coming in here. 66, it's a countdown before we take that out even trying some of the miss shots missing and hitting the tower there you go starting to engage up on this side so we're gonna try and hit this end force um, more oh my god we have so much equipment moving into here um, so yeah this is a, a scary sight for the defenders on the inside more of these ladders moving up into position and then obviously a lot of our artillery still here starting to actually run out of ammo um, but let's go ahead and pan through this there we go holy crap this is ridiculous And our Bombard is even moving up into this position, but I believe at this point we actually got a couple more shots on the wall, but it's out of ammo. Now, what's it at? 84, so let's take a look at what this looks like from the, the Defender perspective. They're, they're seeing their archers on the wall starting to get swarmed. They can see some ladders starting to get up, um, and then they see the wall on their right crumbling, smoke rising, some shots trailing in, so uh, they have no idea what they're facing. So there you go, our heavy units moving up into position. They're going to start clearing the walls at the same time. We're also going to be moving up over here, like I said, with some more uh, guys on ladders. A couple more of the Hashashim waiting. And we are going to try and maybe clear out. It looks like Yeoman Archers on foot are the only ones holding the gateway. Um, so hopefully push those guys back. Yep, looks like Urban Militia are going to ditch their ladders for the time being. And go ahead and clean up these forces. Maybe seize the gate, but the opponents are going to counter charge us with the heavy infantry. But then again... This is 90%, it's almost down, so um, they're going to have to shuffle a lot of their remaining heavy infantry um, to try and deal with what we have left. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, yeah, more of our guys. These peasant crossmen are almost out of ammo. And uh, over here, we're starting to seize the top. These Yemen archers are definitely putting up a fight, but we're going to be pouring on more urban militia. They're pretty heavily armored guys, with a lot of uh, attack as well. But they have crammed in here some armored swordsmen, so there's barely enough room for us to get up here. Um, so they're giving us a hell of a fight, and we're going to at least try and pour up more numbers, but it's getting very crowded. Some of these guys, acrobatics, continue to get some shots on our guys. And there, 96. More shots missing. We really need more accuracy. They're going to be holding the gate at all costs. I mean, look at that. Pouring everything in, so they would really want us to come through one. Uh, gateway, but that's obviously why we're targeting this one to open up a second front. Uh, that is just not tenable. Some more of the Egyptian forces taking a look at the walls right here. Let's see how Hashishim going in on foot, and there we go. Now is the causeway. Look at that nice view of the inner courtyard of where we're trying to go. The uh, remaining uh, knights on the inside. We really destroy these English knights. They're down to almost nothing. But they do still have some fresh infantry. These are probably uh, General's Retinue, the heavy bodyguards, sitting up here inside the palace um, and just waiting for this final um, battle to take place. And now it looks like we're making headway. With the uh, advantage of having urban militia up here, now we're going to start clearing out this. And you can see all of a sudden the damage we're taking is getting much, much less because the archers here are engaged. So they're not going to be getting some shots off. And we're going to be drawing guys up away from this clearing and up onto the walls. That's exactly going to be advantageous to us. Some of the uh, the stank you can see here is actually going to be from our artillery. It's uh, actually out of ammo. So we're hoping to open up another front. 54 damage, but it seems like we're kind of out of ammo. So we're going to be targeting a lot of these guys. They're going to be taking some punishment from that. Meanwhile, the fight continues. And it looks like they actually destroyed... Uh, one of our rams that was trying to push its way up here. So our opponent's doing a very good job counterattacking. There, there's some of the, the the cows going splat.
I'll go ahead and fast forward this as we continue to press the assault. So a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth fighting over these positions and now we're going to start to actually pour into these areas here. Our opponents are reforming and we're pouring a lot into the center trying to take those positions. Sultan, only half our force and at this point you can hear the Sultan, uh, or he's addressing us as the Sultan, calling out that we don't have many men left so we're starting to starting to run into trouble at this point, pouring everything into the middle. Um, so there we go. Actually, some of the opponents are actually going to start breaking and counterattacking us. Um, so this is not good. They broke through our center passage. Um, and now we're going to be countercharging up along this front. Some of our guys are going to start to rally. We have a couple of Mamluks, but not much left. My general is still alive, so I'm going to try and pull him into this fight soon. Um, take a look at this entire... Oh my god, the entire uh, center citadel is emptying itself, belching out a whole... Um, you know, army essentially counter charging up and down these streets. I think what they're trying to secure is some of the remaining ladders we had in these positions. They're trying to punish my uh, my uh, Hashishim and other units who are pushing up on that front. So there they go, pushing up there. And uh, some of our Christian guards and other units are kind of waiting around at this point. Continuing to get some shots on, but not willing to engage in the center fight just yet until we exhaust all our arrows. Um, and you can see that starting to do damage to these heavy infantry here. Meanwhile, continuing to make just mincemeat out of these archers up here but it is a butcher's work clearing out what three units of archers um, and then finally they have some armored swordsmen uh, committed to that front we can go ahead and watch this counter assault and it is going to be actually flattening our guys so they've seized the ladders and so the initiative is kind of uh, ripped out of us at this point and uh, I believe I'm going to go ahead nope it looks like I wasn't actually watching these guys um, now I'm going to try and counter charge into these forces start to do some damage against them try and rally my guys um, it looks like my Christian guard are starting to go down but look at this we're starting to force the opponents back um, and this is gonna actually start to rally my Hashishim my Hashishim are turning around and now we have now we're gonna be pushing back this entire blob that's running down against us um, but they have enough bodies to throw at us that we're starting to lose this engagement and a lot of my Hashishim are going down plus my general ends up being captured in this fight uh, and there you go we're gonna actually we end up getting him. lost destroyed on this side they're gonna be chasing down the remainder of my Hashishim uh, and other units so a bloody bloody fight on this side of the battlefield over here we're holding some forces back trying to defend some of our archers who are actually getting a lot of kills for us so we're trying to hold strong here and you can see them targeting a lot of these uh, armored sergeants who are tired and now they're gonna be finally turning around and trying to swamp our forces here I'm gonna counter charge over in this position we weren't able to uh, to brave this spot just yet and then they actually um, were able to repulse us up there. Um, so that's going to be about it for the battle. At this point, I was basically killed. Um, and my opponent ended up... Oh, oops. Look at those guys running up the hill. Um, but like I said, yeah, my guys are kind of exhausted at this point. I have a couple troops left. Um, and right here, um, we had a little bit of lag. And my opponent ended up dropping out of the game. So he was readying himself for the second assault with all these troops. Um... And then he ended up dropping. So a rather unfortunate anticlimactic end to this battle. But I think at this point we had exhausted all of our artillery. And we didn't have much left uh, in this battle. We could have pushed in through the center. But look at how much they had left. Plus the archer fire that they won. Uh, they won the fight at the walls. So yes we had a lot of troops left. But they had more troops left. So uh, unfortunately I won't be able to show you the climactic clash of battles. Just because of a little bit of the lag that happened at the end of the drop that we got. So that's rather unfortunate, but uh, let's go ahead and look at this. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Unfortunately, uh, Medieval 2 multiplayer does not hold up that well uh, in terms of connectivity. So, you know, I'll try and prevent this stuff from happening in the past. But I think this battle uh, up to this point was definitely worth it. An epic, epic siege. And I really, 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 really like this graveyard of artillery pieces right here. I've never seen that before. Uh, truly epic. I mean, you can see us dragging artillery pieces literally to the center courtyard, to the enemy king, bringing the fight to him. And then we can watch a little bit of the battle unfolding before us. Um, and while this happens, I did want to look over this courtyard. Um, and anywhere you see these big patches of black, those are the units we lost due to artillery fire. So most of it coming down here, I mean, they just got their money's worth in artillery uh, shots fired here. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remains. skip forward to the end results. You can see how this plays out. If you're fighting against an AI um, who's kind of just going to sit still, then they, it's just going to be, uh, you know, a breeze. And they have enough left to crunch through this. So, 
Uh, join me in a couple seconds and we'll skip forward to the results. And uh, unfortunately I fast forward to the end of the battle and it looks like because my opponent dropped we weren't able to get the end of the replay so anyways you can't see the total carnage and kills but I mean I think it kind of speaks for itself so sorry again for the mishap at the end of this battle but I believe I mean just look at this shot <laughs> it's hard to get a battle more epic than this so hope you guys enjoyed this is again another recommendation that you guys gave me for doing a medieval 2 siege battle especially with the citadels I'm digging it hope to bring you guys more of these in the future let me know what you like to see anyways peace out thanks so much